Here we're going to go ahead and look at a problem suggested by one of my old teachers, Eric Fisher, who taught me engineering back in high school. And this is a very simple problem, a common one you'll see in lots of introductory engineering courses. And we're going to go ahead and find the centroid of a parabolic spandrel. And to be clear, that is going to be the area under a parabola above the x-axis, as I've indicated here in this region R. And so what we'll need are three things. We will need the area of this region, which is simple enough. And then we'll need the x and y coordinates of the centroid computed here using moments. And so let's just go ahead and get started. First, we'll need the area of this region R. And that is just as simple as integrating this function, y equals kx squared from x equals 0 to x equals a. So that is the integral from 0 to a of kx squared dx. And simple enough, this is just an application of the power rule, where we'll have kx cubed over 3 as my antiderivative, evaluating between a and 0. And of course, you'll see that this vanishes as 0, so I get k a cubed over 3 as my area. Now we'll go ahead and find the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate of the centroid here. So the x-coordinate is, I'll just copy it from here on the left-hand side, 1 over the area of the object times the integral from 0 to a of x times f of x dx. You can interpret this as, say, for example, a mass per unit area here. Of course, we're not worrying about the density of the object here. We're assuming that the, this has uniform density just so the computations don't get too messy. So once I have this here, I'm going to go ahead and replace all the things I know. 1 over the area, well, this is the area here. So I'll just write reciprocal 3 over k a cubed times the integral from 0 to a of x times f of x. Well, this is x times this thing here. And so this is k times x cubed dx. And again, more application of the power rule, 3 over k a cubed times the antiderivative here, k x to the fourth over 4. And evaluating this between a and 0, again, it vanishes at 0. And what we'll see here is, well, first, the k's will cancel, OK? And so I'll have 3a to the fourth over 4a cubed. And now I'll see a to the fourth divided by a cubed is just a. So the x coordinate of the centroid is 3 quarters a. So that'll be marked about here somewhere. And now we can go ahead and find our y coordinate. And so just copying from the formulas there, we'll have 1 over the area of the region times the integral from 0 to a of, now this time it is 1 half the square of f, in this case it will be, well let's just write it a little specifically here, 1 half f squared dx. And now we'll go ahead and replace the things that we know. Again, this is 1 over the area, so it's just reciprocal of this thing here. 3 over k a cubed times the integral from 0 to a of 1 half. And now f squared is just squaring this thing, so it'll end up being k squared x to the fourth dx. And now we'll go ahead and clean up and do the integration. So first we have this factor here, 3 over k a cubed times a 1 half k squared from this part here. And of course, x to the fourth from our power rule is x to the fifth over 5 once we integrate, evaluating between a and 0. And again, it vanishes at 0, so we don't have to worry about that. And so combining everything together, we have 3 k squared. When I evaluate this at a, I get a to the fifth over 5. And I'll incorporate the 5 down here in the, in the denominator. So I'll have k a cubed times 2 times 5, that's 10. And now, once we clean everything up, we see that k squared divided by k is just k. 3 over 10 remains. 
and a to the fifth divided by a cubed is a squared. And so this is our line value of our centroid, which perhaps could lie here. If you'll notice, this depends on the specific height evaluated in A. So we can even write this as, say, 3 over 10 Y. But to be specific, I can leave it as this and use the specific values of K and A that I may have available. 